You ain't gonna stop me now. This is my kiddo kitchen and I'm gonna come cook you down. Gonna cook you down. Woo! Just kidding, I'm gonna make you full. I'm gonna cook till your plate is good. I'm gonna be doing what I should in Jasmine's kiddo kitchen. another prep video for you today. I'm always prepping large amounts of meat so that I can save money. How about that? Okay, this is 48 ounces or three pounds of pepperoni. And I buy this at Sam's Club. I think it's eight bucks. I can't remember the exact price. I'd have to find a receipt to verify, but it is going to get us a lot of pepperoni. So pretty simple. I'm just going to start by washing my hands. And normally I would do this with the next level down of bags, but I only have this size today, so this is what I'm going to use. So what you want to do is open a bunch of bags ahead of time so you're not getting them all greasy. You're going to use one hand for the pepperoni, one hand for the bag. So four. I'm going to open a lot of these because it's going to be a lot of handfuls. Anything I don't use, I can throw back in. So you're never going to use more than a handful for pizza, or chips, or any of the kind of things you would use for pepperoni, so you're just going to base it off of a handful about that size. You can kind of sprinkle them on the bottom edge, and that's a pretty perfect serving right about there. And you're just looking at it kind of like how much pepperoni would I want on a pizza? How many pepperoni chips would I want if I was having pepperoni chips? Which I'll show you guys how to make. Okay, so some of the things you can do with pepperoni or you can just put them onto a piece of parchment paper and make them crisp in the oven or on a skillet. You can put them into a skillet with a pile of cheese and cook them until they turn a little drier and cut them into a pizza with some Italian seasoning. You can put them into a muffin tin, like three pepperonis into a muffin tin with a pile of cheese, some Italian seasoning, mushroom or olive. You could put pepperonis with cheese into one of those quesadilla makers and a few of the uh, cream cheese blobs and some jalapeno and you close it until it gets crusty. No crust pizza where you just put a bunch of toppings into the same glass pan that I have and some cheese and pizza sauce and bake it. Um, you could do a pile of cheese with a pepperoni and a jalapeno and put that in the oven until the cheese gets crisp and the pepperoni gets crisp. You can just do them raw with a dollop of cream cheese and just eat a pepperoni with some cream cheese. What do I do with pepperoni? Oh, pepperoni goes great on an antipasto salad. You can see there, I just put a small handful in each bag. And I've got tons of bags full of pepperoni at this point.
and voila. Okay, that bag is extra. And I do recycle. Okay, so let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 2021 and 22. Well, that's a lot of servings of pepperoni for around $8. And like I said, it lasts me for months and months and months. I only need to get pepperoni like twice a year. And so you wash your hands, seal them up, and then roll them into about that size, and then they store them in a Ziploc bag. I'll show you that really fast. And you could go review and see if some were more full than you wanted and, and, and split them up again. But I figure for the bigger ones, it's just meant to be. And for the less full ones, it's meant to be too. You could be a little more uh, crazy with them and actually just count out like 16 pepperonis or 32 pepperonis per bag so you knew that they were all exactly the same. But I like the hand full method. And I love the convenience of always having pepperoni. I haven't, I think I have like two bags of pepperoni left from my last bag. And when I get to that point, I get more. Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Leave me a comment for things that would interest you in the future. And don't forget to share my videos so that other people find me. Uh, when you share my video, one of your friends on your Facebook might learn how to do low carb and lose weight. And that's a good thing. You'll be helping your friends by sharing my video. So make sure you share it. And this is how you store it. You just take your bags and toss them in here. Ooh. Try and keep them rolled up if you can. And these do freeze well. I've done this, I think this is my third time ever needing to buy pepperoni in my whole low carb thing. So I buy them like every six months, which is fantastic. And then you just pop the whole thing in your freezer. And anytime you need pepperoni, just throw them in the microwave for 30 seconds and they are ready to go. You ain't gonna stop me now this is my kiddo kitchen and i'm gonna come cook you down gonna cook you down Woo! just kidding i'm gonna make you full